if you remember the discussion on uh, additive identity we discussed that uh, for any given integer for any given integer suppose integer is a it's an arbitrary int integer what whole number we can add to this integer what whole number we can add to this particular integer or any integer so that the outcome of that addition is that integer itself that is what what whole number we can add here so that we can get a itself i mean a is the outcome so that was not very tough it was quite easy that if we add zero here that is if a plus a plus zero is here then you'll get a that was very easy so zero this zero was the additive identity identity so what will be multiplicative identity it's similar to uh, this additive identity where you had to add some whole number in order to get the same uh, integer in this case you'll have to multiply some with some whole number so what could be that whole number which you when multiply with any given number you get that number back as an outcome so that means that a times a times what that you will get a as an outcome so answer will be that a times a times 1 if we multiply any number with 1 this will give you a this will give you a this will give you a so whether it is a times 1 or say even it's negative integer it is negative integer even in that case if you multiply this with 1 this will be this will be minus a because here you have a negative integer therefore the outcome should be a negative that particular integer itself so it should be multiplied by 1 and you can check for any example like it's 10 times 1 is 10 so you here the outcome is 10 and the integer is 10 it's um, I mean satisfying the multiplicative identity and even if it was minus 10 times 1 this will give you minus 10 again use minus sign here and minus sign here I mean uh, same integer so we can say that add for additive identity 0 is the add additive identity and for multiplicative identity this is 1 is a, a multiplicative identity why because if you multiply with any integer whether positive or negative you'll get back that same integer so one very interesting point arise here that what if what if whether it is whether it is a and whether it is minus a whether it is a and minus a what if we multiply with minus 1 with minus 1 will this give the same result that is a and will like 1 minus 1 will also be the multiplicative identity no because if you multiply a with minus 1 you'll get minus a if you multiply minus a with minus 1 you'll get a and if you can notice that since you have a here and the outcome is coming minus a these two values are not equal and in this case it's minus a and here you are getting a so minus 1 is not the multiplicative identity for any given number in fact this minus a of a is the additive inverse right by additive inverse we mean that suppose you have number one and you have minus one so we say that minus one is the additive inverse minus one is the additive inverse additive inverse of 
1. Similarly, minus a here will be additive inverse of a. Similarly, when you multiply minus a with minus 1, you got a. And this a is the additive inverse of minus a just because it is having an opposite sign of what that particular integer was okay so when you multiply one with um, with any integer then you'll get back the same integer and therefore one is a multiplicative identity but minus one will not be the multiplicative identity because when you multiply with minus one you'll get a additive we'll get an additive inverse of that integer 